Hello, Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be making an elegant, fancy fold. <laughs> um, we're going to be using the gilded, what is this called? The naturally gilded? Yeah, naturally gilded specialty designer series paper. I think this is an online exclusive, yes. And I'm hopefully it's still available. I didn't even check. Um, we have the Fluffiest Friends stamp set and the So Sincere stamp set that we're gonna be using today. Okay, so, but before we get started on our project, of course, we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. So we're gonna start with our mystery boxes. Again, these are the medium flat rate USPS boxes that I have stuffed and filled with plus or minus $200 with new and used all retired Stampin' Up! products. I am only asking $25 for each box. Most of that cost is shipping. Um, I can only ship in the U.S., but email me at stampwithshauna at gmail.com if you're interested, okay? Lastly, we have our host code for the month. This is the code I want you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, don't use this host code because you'll qualify for Stampin' Rewards. And Stampin' Rewards equals free product from Stamp It Up. And we don't want you to miss out on any of your freebies, okay? That is all of our buzzworthy business. So we're going to jump right in and get started. I am going to let you know that I have some designer series paper here. Um... It was two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And I'll tell you how I got this slant. Then I have some designer series. I'm not designer series paper, cherry cobbler. This is five by three and three quarters. And that's for our inside. And then we have our inside piece that is three and a half by four and three quarters. And I have already gone ahead and stamped and um, decorated the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and layer this onto the cherry cobbler mat and I'll let you see what I did to that so it says knowing you brings joy to my heart then we have our little beaver here from the fluffiest friends with his heart made out of sticks okay so that's our inside ready to go then we have a piece of very vanilla that is three and seven eighths by five and one eighths and we have um our card base that is crumb cake and this is five and a half by eight and a half squared at four and a quarter so i said i was going to tell you how i got this slant the fun fold part is coming in with our other piece of cherry cobbler this is ten and a half by four scored at five and a quarter and then i cut a slant on here so what i did was on the right hand side i measured down to two and a quarter and put a little mark and on this side, I measured down to three and one eighths and cut from this point to that point. That's all I did. And then I ended up with this piece cut off. See, that's the piece that cut off. And I took my designer series paper and I just um, lined it up on here. So you would line it up like this to make it even, but because the paper was longer than my um, cherry cobbler piece, I scooted it down another eighth of an inch, cut it, just laid it like this and cut it even so that when I go to layer it, it'll be even. So that's what I did. So we're gonna go ahead and layer this onto our card. So this is just scraps. We don't need that. So we're gonna layer this designer series paper onto our card base. I'm going to put that right on here. Like that. Okay. And then I want to go ahead and do some stamping. So I want to stamp on here. Um, I'm going to stamp, in, but instead of using ink, I'm going to use, I mean, instead of using an ink pad, I'm going to use a Stampin' Write marker. These are not to be confused with the Stampin' Blends. Stampin' Blends are alcohol markers. These are the Stampin' Write markers. This is the same ink that are that's in our stamping pads, okay? But my cherry cobbler needs to be replaced, and it's not working right anymore. I've had it for a long time, <laughs> and re-inking it 
is not going to do the job. I need a new pad. I thought I replaced it, but I replaced my um, Early Espresso and not my Cherry Cobbler. So we're going to just color on to our stamp. This is how you can get multiple colors on your stamps as well. You huff on it. And I'm going to stamp right here at the top. So thankful for you. Just like that. And I don't know why I'm closing this up. Because I need to do that technique one more time for our next stamp. So we're going to color on this. This is um, the for the front of the card. The outside of the card. And notice I am using the side of my marker. Um, not the tip because you don't want to ruin the tip of your marker. I need to bring this close so I can make sure I've gone over every part of it. <laughs> okay, and we're going to be stamping this on some, um, what is this, crumb cake. Just like that. And I'm going to take our heartfelt hexagon punch, and I'm going to punch that out. Try to get it in there even. I should have punched, um, stamped it on the opposite side. <laughs> this is trying to make sure it's even. Okay. So we have that. Now, what else? I need to do some more stamping. Okay. So now we're going to do stamping and we're going to use the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I'm going to take our little bear here. And we're going to stamp him. Come on, get a good inking. Because I don't want this to be messed up. We're going to stamp him about right here on the bottom of this layer. Just like that. And then we're going to take some scrap. We're going to stamp a little birdie. Okay, and that is all of our stamping done. While we let this ink dry a little bit, we are going to get some ribbon. I have um, the Copper and Natural Ribbon Combo Pack. This is from the mini that is will be um, retiring soon. And I didn't use much of it, so I'm trying to get, get some use out of it. So we're going to take a... A length of that and we're going to wrap it around our card front here if I can get that going right. I'm going to get my little trimmer here and I'm going to cut a half inch piece of a half inch piece of this crumb cake. And we are going to cover that just like that. All right, let's get back on track here. Okay, because we have a lot to do. I'm probably going to cut a bunch of this out. That ribbon just wasn't doing what I thought in my head it was supposed to do. I need some scrap paper because we have to do some coloring. So I'm going to get some balmy blue, light and dark, and the color lifter. And we're going to color our little birdie. So I'm going to start with the light um, balmy blue. I'm going to color that in. Then we're going to take our dark balmy blue. Go over just some of it where the little lines are. And then we'll go back with the light and blend it in better. Just like that. And I'm going to take the color lifter just to smooth out this area around the face here. 
Just blend these colors together better and go in for the belly. Just like this. Then, and then, and then, and then, I used the light, light crumb cake for this beak. Oh, and I did forget I need to stamp one more thing. Okay, so that's what I did for that. I'm gonna set that to the side. Now we're gonna take our bear here, and I'm gonna start by um, coloring this little honey pot. So I have light and dark cherry cobbler. And this is the light. Trying to be very careful. I see I've gone out of the lines a little bit because this is going on the inside of our card. <laughs> this is going to be the front of our card, really. So I want to push, try to lift that color and push it back in. Okay. So then we're going to take our dark cherry cobbler and just go over some of the areas here that might be a little darker. Okay, we have that. Then I'm going to go back to the light and fill this in and blend the edges of the dark. And by leaving that area of white, when I go back over it with the second coloring of the light um, cherry cobbler, it's even lighter. Okay, so that is that part. Then we're going to take our Daffodil Delight. And color our honey. And we can get started on this bear. So for the bear, I'm using a couple of colors. I have ivory, the light and dark um, crumb cake, as well as the Natural Tones 300, which is the medium deep, okay? So for ivory, I think I want to do ivory here. Try to get a little darker. Okay. Then we're going to take the light crumb cake and go over the entire bear. And I'll speed through this. Now we have the dark crumb cake. You guys know I'm just gonna go around the edges. Okay. Now we have the 300. And this, I'm just gonna be using right on the edge. Okay, now we're going to go back to the light crumb cake and give it all a blend in. Okay, so now that we have that done, I need to step, where's my mon tuxedo moment, the black I need, ooh, that was almost a disaster. I need to stamp this bird one more time. I'm gonna stamp him about right there, like that. Yes, I know I'm stamping over the bear, but what we're gonna do is cut the bird out using our paper snips and we are going to layer him with some dimensionals 
right on top of the one we just stamped. Okay, so we have that. Get those backings off. So what we're gonna do is just place him right over the stamped, see? And I did that so I can have his little feet. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and do, 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 blue. Glue this in. You can glue this on the inside of here. Like that. We can take this one and glue it to the inside of the crumb cake card base. that then we're going to take this one and glue it to the crumb cake and I'll just center that right on there I don't know why I put my dimensionals away because we still need them because we have to put our sentiment on and it's going to go right over here. You know what I'm thinking? Do I have any cherry cobbler around? Dimensionals. Stay focused. Okay. Um, what we need to do is put dimensionals on this, but we want to, oh, I should have stamped the bear over some more. We want to just put it on the top portion, okay? So, I am going to put it right at these little junctions here. And then up at the top. One more just to make me happy. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling like I am missing something. Like I was supposed to do something else to this I think let me see for some reason I'm thinking I was gonna splatter it I where's my bone folder I keep losing stuff I just used the bone folder. oh it's on this side of me <laughs> so I'm gonna take our um stamp and blend and see if I can get some ink to oh that's a lot oh I didn't know that much was going to splatter out. Okay. <laughs> well, we got a lot of splatter. And we're going to put this on here. About right there. That straight. About right there. Okay. Yep, that's good. Next, we're going to get some bling. I'm so upset the ribbon didn't work out because I really like the ribbon on here. Um, Take your pick tool. We're going to use the gold to match the gold in our designer series paper. Do I want it on here or up here? I'm going to put the other one up here. Then I'm going to do a few right here. Oh, maybe I should have just did two. Let me see. Let's take this one off. <laughs> we'll save that and use it for another time. And take this one and put it right there. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, that's it, you guys. Woo, that was a tough one. That's the card. Isn't that cute? I like it. So you think that's it. And you're like, oh, where am I going to write my sentiment? Well, that's just for show. And you open it up and you can write a message inside. It's cute. I like it. <laughs> okay, you guys, that's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye. Bye.